What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. Today I'm just going to be kind of making this update video regarding shiny hunting because there is some stuff I want to talk about. I have already made a shiny hunting guide for wild encounters as well as breeding shinies and I will kind of go over them very briefly again here and I'm going to talk about which method I truly believe is the best method of shiny hunting in Pokemon Sword and Shield because it is really like it's kind of clear cut which is the best based on what the data miners have found and what pokemon is telling us there is a very obvious uh method that is better to do if you're looking to get shinies at a faster rate and while i'm doing all this i'm just going to be kind of working on my shiny wooloo which i've been hunting for quite a bit of time so we'll throw a wooloo in there and as I'm doing this, I'll probably throw over some clips based on what I'm talking about from my other shiny hunting videos. So as of right now, there is two methods. There is the Masuda method and there is the wild encounter method. Masuda method is when you breed two Pokemon of two different languages. So for example, right now I am trying to breed a shiny Wooloo. And to do that, I am breeding a Dubwool with my, uh, I believe it is Japanese ditto so that way there are two different languages which increases my odds of hunting a shiny pokemon through this method to one out of 682 however i have the shiny charm i've completed the pokedex i have the shiny charm so that also boosts my odds doing this method to one out of 512 so there are the two odds for hunting this way and this is cut and dry there's no chaining there's nothing of that nature it is just those odds if you breed with two pokemon of two different languages so there's also the wild encounter method, and this is where it gets a little tricky. The wild encounter method, according to what Pokemon has told us, is that if you battle a certain Pokemon, so let's look, I did a Rookity a while back. That is the only Pokemon I have hunted with the uh, wild encounter method. Let me find Rookity here. So here's my Rookity. See, I've got the shiny entry in the decks. And see, it says numbered battle on the screen. That is indicating how many times I battled Rookity in the wild. It only goes up to 999. According to what Pokemon has told us, to max out your odds at catching a shiny Pokemon in the wild, you need to have battled that Pokemon 500 times. So clearly I'm well over that. I think I had like close to 6,000 encounters for a shiny Rookity. And... That will, after battling 500 Pokemon in the wild, that'll up your odds to 1 out of 682 if you do not have the Shiny Charm, or 1 out of 512 if you have the Shiny Charm. Now, before I get into what the data miners have to say, I'm already going to say, if you are looking to Shiny Hunt a Pokemon, Masuda Method is already better. And why that is, is because you have to battle... 500 of a certain Pokemon in the wild to get the same odds that you would have starting Masuda method with the hatching zero eggs of the Pokemon you're looking for. So, for example, the Wooloo I'm hunting right now, as soon as I started hunting Wooloo, my odds were 1 out of 512. But if I wanted to go and hunt the Wooloo in wild through wild encounters, I would have to battle 500 of them before I ever got the 1 out of 512. So that already makes Masuda method a much better way of getting shiny pokemon so that that alone makes masuda method better because you don't have to take that time to get 500 battles out of the way now there is obviously a chance that you can get the shiny pokemon before you battle it 500 times shiny hunting is all luck there is no cut and dry method that means you're going to get things that much quicker i could hatch another 2000 wooloo before i ever get a shiny but statistically my odds of getting it are much faster doing it this way because I don't have to do the 500 battles at the start. Now, however, the data miners seem to believe that there is an error in the coding for the Wild Encounter Shiny Hunts. And what they believe is that 1 out of 512 chance you get a Shiny Pokemon through a Wild Encounter after you battle it 500 times, that only occurs 3% of the time because there's some error in the coding, meaning that the odds are closer to 1 out of 1300 in some numbers. So it's the odds are much worse doing the Wild Encounters than what Pokemon actually believes there are, and that is because of a potential error in the coding. We don't know this for 100% certainty, but based on what I've seen from a lot of streams and from my own experience, like... If I'm going to go in here, 
I'll look at my shinies real quick. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shinies that I got from doing the Masuda method, and all of them were relatively quick except for my Heliolus, which took around 800 eggs. Everything else was around two boxes. Mimikyu was 32 eggs. There was about 58 eggs for my uh, Choodle. So everything else was relatively quick, and I even got two Jangmo'os very quickly. So, and then my Rukidi, or my Corviknight as it is now, that took me 50 in-game hours and over 6,000 encounters. So that's a big difference compared to getting seven others in a relatively timely manner. Based on this, it is kind of, at least in my eyes, it just seems to be more effective to hunt for shinies through the Masuda method. Now, however you want to do it is up to you. Obviously, like I said earlier, it's all luck. Shiny hunting is all luck. I'm just trying to get this information out there to kind of help you guys decide which way you want to go about getting your shinies. I know there's a lot of exploits to get shinies. You can hack your shinies, all that jazz. But I know a lot of new players are probably going to be getting Pokemon because of Christmas and things like that. So, people coming in that want to know how to hunt shinies, this video is just here to tell you which way is the best way to do that at least from my experience and from knowledge i've gained from other people playing the game and doing this now i don't think that means you should only hunt one way because honestly you're going to get tired of spinning around in circles hatching eggs that's just the way it's going to be but i do think that if you're trying to get the most shinies done quickly i would do masuda method but if you're just a shiny hunter just pick and choose which ones are going to be better so for example squovit spawns really really often on route one so just go to route one and hunt squovit in the wild and then for a pokemon that's more difficult to find such as dreepy or jangmo -O, like just hatch those because then you're not going to encounter them as frequently but with pokemon like squovit or even wooloo go out and just hunt them in the wild if you'd rather not hatch eggs over and over because this right here i've done this for seven pokemon now and this is starting to get old so i'm definitely going to switch back to the wild encounter so it's really it's just based on how you feel and how you want to handle your game how you want to play it i'm not going to tell you how to play your game i just kind of wanted to make this video as kind of like a helpful guide to shiny hunting and if you're interested in checking out my full guides on each method i will link them in the description below and put them at the end of the video for you guys so you can check those out if you want to know more in depth on those so that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching if you liked this video and found it entertaining and helpful be sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future be sure to share the video with your friends let's grow the community here on the channel we have a channel discord where people can go you can play any nintendo switch game not just pokemon but we do have channels set up to trade pokemon battle show off your shinies stuff like that there's plenty of channels there we're just trying to get a lot of people together to play games and have a good time all my other social media should be on screen here if you're interested in keeping up with the channel be sure to check me out there but like i said that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video